Thanks, Jason. Now then, what's your favourite food? Is it fish and chips, perhaps, or the good old Yorkshire pudding? Well, I can tell you that food connoisseurs in South Yorkshire are looking to the continent for their gastronomic delights. Yes, while you may think of snails as more commonly associated with the diet of the French than the English, the King William pub near Doncaster is proudly placing them at the top of the menu. And the homegrown escargot are proving a bit of a hit. Here's Val Shukla. They're the scourge of all gardeners, but these large grey snails, or Helix Aspersa Maxima, to give them their correct name, could soon start making the fortunes of a young South Yorkshire woman who started breeding them. Samantha Burnell grows the creatures right from scratch, the point where they're ready for the table. Some people say yuck, but you know, most people are, are quite open to try them once. And most people, once they've tried them, they, they quite like them. So, so hopefully it should, should get going. And Samantha's also a dab hand at cooking the snails, which have become a speciality at her father's pub in Scaffworth near Doncaster. Well, I know they're a great delicacy in France, and they do smell great. But I'm afraid, as a vegetarian, I'll just have to pass up this time. Though luckily, other people are not as squeamish as me, and the escargot starters have become a firm favourite, even with the generation which is more used to chicken nuggets and chips. And it was quite nice. It was chewy, like beef, and it was all you could taste was just chew. <laughs> <laughs> they were really nice, nicer than I expected. And would you have them again? Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> You weren't that brave, were you? No. Why was that? Because I just didn't think that I'd like him and I wouldn't want to try him. Well, I'm glad it's not just me who thinks snails should stay in the garden.